Hi everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. On this card I'm going to um, focus on the pierced edging that goes around. It's just a nice way to finish off your cards and I'll show you how to do it. Now the card that I'm going to make I'm doing in black and white so I've cut myself a base layer and this is just an 8 inch square and I've cut myself a second layer which is just slightly smaller than the black one and this is the, the layer that I'm going to pierce. So this is just an old polystyrene block, it's out of some packing cases and because my card is white and the block is white I'm adding a different colour so that I can see where I'm going and you can see it's been used a few times. Now you're going to need um, a pricking ruler. This is a Tim Holtz design ruler and it has pricking edges all along the end and I'm also using a pricking tool. And to keep the ruler in place I'm going to need just a couple of um, push pins. Now if you look at this ruler it has horizontal and vertical lines and these are going to help you to line up your paper. The pricking edge is on one side, on the other side it's a metal edge and you're going to use this now to line up the paper. So if you look at the top mark, I'm going to line that top mark up along the edge of the card and to keep it in place I'm going to use a couple of push pins. So I have a vertical line level on the edge of that, I'm working in two of the holes and I'm going to push my pin in and then if you keep it level along the top come in two holes from the other side and push your pin in your card is now safe and stuck to that ruler. Hold your ruler still and then with your pricking tool you're just going to push it in through all the holes until you've worked your way along the line. Now because this push pin is thinner than the pricking tool you need to prick in that hole as well. So once you've done one row take your pins out and you're going to turn your card. Now you're going to use that first hole as your guideline so put your pin through the hole in your ruler and find it there and push that in and then keep the horizontal line level on your card come in by two pinholes push it in then with your pricking tool you're going to prick along the edge until you get to the end once you've completed the second row if you just look you've now got a nice neat corner to your piercing and you're just going to repeat that same process until you've got all four sides pierced so there's the, the second layer to your card with the pierced edge. Now to make the rest of the card I'm going to use the, the Spellbinder dies that I introduced to you in starting your Spellbinder collection. So we have an impressibility, we have a motifs and an accents die, um, we've got a, an edgeability, that's the labels 20 die and we have a uh, spiral blossom one and the foliage. Now we're not going to use them all but we are going to use some of them. Now to find the next layer to your card take your card or your paper that you're going to use and you're just going to lay it so that it's inside the piercing and if you just take a little pencil and put marks on it so you're working on the wrong side of your card at the moment you're going to cut that out and once you've done that, you will then have a square that will fit neatly inside your piercing. Now what I've done next is I've taken the impressibility um, die and I, I have run that through my die cutting machine and that's just put a pattern into the card. Now to get the impression in your card, 
lay your impressibility down onto your grey base plate, pop your card on top, add your tan mat, your pink plate and run it through your die cutting machine. And then once you've done that, you will then have that pattern impressed on your card. Now we're just going to build up the other elements to the card. So this is the Spiral Blossom 1 um, die and that will create that kind of a, a rose for you. And if you want to know more about making the flowers, have a look at the Spiral uh, Spellbinder Blossoms video. I've also cut some different shaped leaves from the foliage set and to create the frames I've used two dies, the second and the third ones in of the labels 20. I've taped them together and that's created two of the frames for me. And all I've done to get the pattern in the card is just run it through a Ribbler. So there's your shape through the Ribbler. Now taking the centre um, die away from that frame, I've also cut myself another shape and I've um, stamped it with a just right stamp and I've heat embossed it. Now from the border die in the um, Parisian accents I'm going to cut myself four borders. Now once you've cut these all I'm going to do is just add them to some white card, glue them down to some white card and then with a, a knife or a, a guillotine just cut along this edge, just missing the lacy bit, so that I'm creating for myself four little borders. Now you might want to add some colour to your card and if you do, just add the borders to the colour of the card that you, you're going to use and then again just use the lacy edge and trim it off. So we've got the three layers to the card, this is the one that I'm going to work on, this is the smallest layer. Now what I want to do now is add these borders to the edge of these, this layer, but I want to mitre the edges. So if you lay them on the card and line them up and then remove this, you try and keep it together, and then from the inner corner to the outer corner, you're just going to cut through. And that will give you a mitered edge to the end of, your, of your, your borders. And you're going to repeat that on all four of the panels, but you need to remember which one has been cut with which one. Now once you've cut those, you're going to just add some foam pads to the back and glue them in place on the card that you've embossed. And that will just give you a raised frame around that decorated centre part. And if you're not happy with the corners, then all you need to do is just add some pearls and that will just disguise the joints for you in each corner. You're now ready to just add that to your base layer. And once you've glued that in place, you can now start to work on the central part going to add these frames in place and I've just put some wet glue on the back and I'm just going to flat glue them to the card. And then the sentiment has got foam pads on the back and that's just going to sit on top. Now to make that sentiment look pretty I'm going to add some nest bling. Now this is just self-adhesive pearls and they are from Want to Scrap. And they come in different shapes that match the, the, the Spellbinders dies, or you can get them in the swirls. There's lots of different designs for you to choose. So you're just going to peel this off the back and add it to that frame. Now just in a dry run I'm going to add the flowers and see where I might want to put them. So we just add some leaves in. And the flower is going to sit in the centre of the leaves and then down this side I'm just going to add some more of the nestabling and I'm going to use a swirl 
from the bling set and that's just going to sit along that side of the card. So I'm going to go away now and glue these in place. Now to make sure that you add your swirls in the position that you want them, just cut out the piece that you want and then just take the top part from the backing um, carrier sheet and then if you just add that in place where you want it to go and then you can peel the rest of it off as you go along and it will stick to itself if you're not careful with it and that can just be added to the card. So to make the card stand I'm going to add an A-frame to the back and all I've taken is a piece of the same card and I'm just going to fold that in half and that will sit along the bottom but this is the bit that will stop it from flopping open so that's another piece of card just turn the bottom up and the top and then make it in half and then all you're going to do is add glue to this part and this part and you're going to glue it inside the card and then glue the whole lot to the back of the card. So with the A-frame in place that makes the card stand. I've added a bow under the flowers and a black pearl to the centre of the, the bow just to hide the knot and the nest of bling and the swirl are in place and with the pierced edge that makes for a very pretty card.